Hi, I'm Randy Rogen, and I am so excited to be out in the Middlesex Fells, which is one of my favorite places in the world. Um, I have the honor and privilege of being um, a member of the Friends of the Fells, which I hope you guys are too. And I'm out here because this is the most exciting time to be in New England if you love botany. This is spring ephemeral season. And spring ephemerals are plants that come out very, very early season, before all the trees leaf out, before there's any leaves on the trees, there's enough sunlight on the bottom of the forest floor to be able to support all of these beautiful flowers that come out even while it's still snowing outside sometimes. So this morning there was a little bit of snow and there, it was pretty cold and there's yet a flower out here on the forest floor that can handle that. And I want to introduce you to my favorite flower friend, first one of the season, bloodroot, Sanguinaria canadensis. This beautiful flower is completely nondescript. It's almost easy to miss amidst the white sort of um, turned over leaves that have fallen last fall. But if you take a look closely, you'll see that there is a flower that's all the way out and it's got these leaves, these two leaves that are kind of curled around its stem. And the reason it's all closed and curled right now is not because it's early in the season. This thing was full out, leaves open, and this flower face turned to the sky a few days ago but it's all curled up today because it's cold. And I love this about this flower. It's one of my favorite things. It gives itself a hug to keep itself warm with its leaves. And then when the, when the weather warms up, you'll watch the entire flower open up as well and open and close with the weather. So it's hardy, just like the rest of us New Englanders. Now, what's really cool about this particular bloodroot, besides that, of course, is um, I'm not going to dig it up for you because I don't, we definitely don't want to dig up native plants in public forests and parks. But if you were to pull it up, you would see um, a really thin sort of uh, red rhizome. And if you were to break it, what would ooze out is a red liquid, which kind of looks like blood. So bloodroot. That's um, what it's named for. And actually, there is a toxin inside of it that keeps herbivores away. And you wouldn't want to eat it. It's supposed to taste terrible. I've never tried it, but we're going to keep it that way. But um, this beautiful, um, nondescript flower can actually carpet whole sections of the forest floor, um, going through its entire life cycle, uh, blooming, getting pollinated, setting seed, and uh, flower dying back to leave just the leaves on the forest floor all before the other trees even wake up. Isn't that cool? So if you take a look over here, you'll see this beautiful carpet of bloodroot just hanging out. And it's right now, it's the only game in town. And what a pretty one. Aren't we lucky?